Alright, so one of today's jobs is going to be to try and completely refresh the floor of the interior of my VW T4 camper. As you can see, the floor itself is looking... It's not too bad, but uh, you can see it hasn't really had much love shown to it over the last 19 years or so. Uh, so it's definitely going to be worth giving it a really good scrub down, a really good clean. And then after it's all cleaned up, I'm going to be going over it with some Cherry Blossom uh, shoe polish. That's just black liquid version. That's got some wax in it as well. To give that a really good shake up. And then after the floor's had a really good clean down, a good scrubbing, I'm just going to be emptying that out into a tub. And then just applying that just with a soft sponge throughout the floor, letting it dry, doing a few coats. And then by the time that that's all done, it's been cleaned, it's been polished up, hopefully the floor mat should look as good as new, if not even better. That's what I'm hoping for anyway, so it's just going to be a case of first giving it all a really good scrub down, getting all of the old dirt and grime that's built up over the years off, cleaned away, and then get the polish out and... Uh, as I say, we'll see what the results look like after it's all done. So, first things first, time to get washing. Right, so first things first, it's just going to be a case of some soapy water and a sponge. Give that a scrub down, as I say, get all of the years grime out. Then I'll use some upholstery cleaner, give that a once over, and then uh, get the polish out. So, let's get washing. Well, there's a quick scrub over and uh, probably about 19 years worth of grime and uh, crud just all washed away. It's come up quite nice, but as you can see where it's actually drying up, it's still quite faded. As I say, that's just where the sun's been going, uh, hitting the floor through the window and it's just been fading the floor over time. So now it's uh, pretty clean now, pretty much, but I'm still going to give it a once over just with some uh, upholstery cleaner as well. Just a make sure all of the grime and crap's actually out of all of the grooves in between all of the grip squares. Now I'll be ready to polish up and see what it looks like after it's done. Right, so there's the floor pretty much lathered in the upholstery cleaner now. Now uh, this just needs to pretty much soak in just for a minute or two and that should then lift up all of any ingrained uh, grime and dirt that the wash down didn't actually get out. So I say I'll leave this for a couple of minutes, give it a wipe down, and then it should be pretty sparkling clean and uh, ready for a polish. Right, so there's the floor done after it's been washed, uh, just with soapy water, and then scrubbed over again with upholstery cleaner, and it's come up pretty well, really. Uh, I mean, that must have been, I don't know, when it was last washed in here. Not a lot of people put much thought into actually washing out the rubber floorings in vans. So, you never know, it might have had a full 19 years worth of grime building up in there. But, uh, regardless of how much grime it had built up, it's cleaned up pretty well, as you can see. But, there's still fading in between some of the, like, where all of your grip squares are. Just where, the, probably, the sun's just been hitting it over the years. So, as I say, just to try and get it all refreshed and looking really, really nice, back to black, nice and shiny. And for the sake of the pound, I'm just going to be applying some Cherry Blossom Shoe Wax. And as I say, I'm just going to empty this out into a tub and just apply that with just a soft sponge. It'll take a few coatings, but uh, after it's done, it should come up really nice, really black, shiny. So, as I say, I'll get this emptied out into a tub and start applying. I've just emptied the cherry blossom just into a little tub there. And I say it's just about to start getting applied just with a little sponge. And you do need to go quite sparingly. It's quite easy for a sponge just to suck up way too much polish. So after you've absorbed it in the sponge, it's always best just to wring it straight back off into the tub. Otherwise you're just going to have little pools of polish all over the place. So get cracked on and uh, see what this looks like. I say this is a good before shot. So we'll just have to see what it looks like when it's all finished.
Right, so there's the first pass of cherry blossom done. It's probably going to need another coat or two just to thicken up the actual uh, coat that's been applied there. But it has certainly made a good difference. It's uh, certainly freshened up the appearance of it. It's coloured in a lot of the uh, grey weathered look that was going in between all of the grip squares. But as I say, it's, uh, because some of it was quite weathered indeed, it's still going to need ideally another coat, probably two, just to build up the uh, polish that's going in between all of the grips. And I say that's where most of it needs the most attention, just because that's where it actually fades the most. But it's, as I say, it's not looking bad just for the first pass over there. It's certainly an improvement. So, like I say, each step that I've done, it's got nicer and neater each time. Just the wash, then the upholstery, and then the polish. So, as I say, it's uh, looking quite nice and neat now. It's a hell of a lot better than what it was. Now it's just a case of letting this all fully dry up, and then I'll get round to applying the second coat. Probably two more coats. We'll see what it looks like after the next one. And then I'll actually just pick the video back up after I'm finished and I won't bother filming applying a few more coats because it's just the same type of stuff. So that's it. I'll pick it up once it's fully finished and show you the final results. Right, so I've just finished the second coat of the cherry blossom just across the floor mat and it's just brought the shine up really nice on it now. Uh, as you can see there, all of the grey weathered sort of lookingness to its uh, all been polished away, it's all been refreshed, it's all looking really nice and shiny again. Even under the driver's foot well, that's the one that's obviously had the most traffic, but even that's looking all nice and shiny again as well. So there's certainly no complaints about the finish of this, especially just for the sake of a pound a tub and about, well, an hour just to give it a really, really good clean and scrub down beforehand, and then just applying all of the polish. But as I say, the results itself, the mat itself is just lovely now. all just nice and shiny even the footwells have uh, come up nice and shiny as well so I'd say for the sake of just a pound for the uh, cherry blossom and just for the sake of just uh, a little bit of time just scrubbing it all down and doing a little bit of prep beforehand just to be sure that you're going to get all of the dirt and grime off otherwise you're just going to be putting polish over that and then it'll wear away a lot easier if you get it all as clean as possible and apply the polish of that hopefully it's going to be that little bit longer uh, lasting wearing but even if it does start wearing down after a couple of months it's just a case of spending another pound another half hour give it another couple of coats so that's it it's uh, brought it up absolutely lovely now and now it's, uh, it's certainly refreshed all of the uh, floor of the interior so yep I'm certainly not, uh, not complaining about that really really happy and I say that's another thumbs up for the cherry blossom. And I say I've already done the bumpers, now that's the floor mat, and even just daft little plastics like the handbrake uh, surround. Just did a quick coating over that as well, and that's just refreshed that as well, got it nice and shiny again. So there we go, just as, as I say, you just can't go wrong with a uh, little bit of uh, cheap shoe polish and a little bit of uh, elbow grease. So yeah, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, uh, do give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button down below as well. Have a look at my channel, I've pretty much converted uh, the entire van on there, all of the jobs have been documented on my channel, so do have a look there as well, and I say, if you did find the video useful, give it uh, that big old thumbs up, thanks for watching, cheers.